government issued fuel marking rules to strengthen anti-oil smuggling drive. Manila, Philippines to strengthen its campaign against oil smuggling. The government on Friday issued a rule for implementing the fuel marking program and grant the country two digits to revenue agencies for each authority to go after suspected smugglers. Joint Circular No. 1-2019 dated July 6 signed by Finance Secretary Carlos G. Dominguez III, Internal Revenue Commissioner Cesar R. Delay, and Customs Commissioner Ray Leonardo B. Guerrero provided the specific guidelines of the fuel marking scheme already being rolled out by the Paris of Customs, BOC, and of Internal Revenue, BIR, under the Task Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion, Trade, Act since March. Fuel marking is mandatory on all imported, manufactured and refined diesel, gasoline and kerosene, including those withdrawn from free zones to be brought into the country, the joint circular red. Fuel testing will be conducted in refineries, share cash depots, gasoline stations, and other retail outlets under BIR supervision. The DOT, meanwhile, will supervise fuel testing in all other areas, including depots, tank trucks, vessels, warehouses, and other fuel transporting vehicles. Industry players belonging to the Philippine Institute of Petroleum, TIP, earlier lobbied to limit fuel marking implementation to their import, terminals and refineries as they wanted minimal disruptions within oil companies' facilities. Under the approved rule, random fuel testing and confirmatory on the fuel required to be marked shall be conducted to test compliance with the mandatory marking requirements. The guidelines empower the VOC and the BIR with the utilization and police authority during field testing. When there is reasonable cost for verified information, receipt that a vessel, tank truck or similar fuel transporting vehicle is carrying any unmarked, adulterated, or diluted petroleum products, the VOC or BIR officer nearest the vicinity may stop and search the same in line with their authority to search for taxable products under Section 171 of the Nyers Left Square Bracket National Internal Revenue Code Right Square Bracket and Section 222 of the Punta Left Square Bracket Customs Modernization and Tariff Act Right Square Bracket, the Circular, read. The BIR or BOC officer nearest the vicinity of the fuel manufacturing or refining facility, gasoline stations and other retail outlets, depots, warehouses, buildings or place may enter and search the same where there is probable cost or verified information that is alterated or diluted fuel are produced, or stored therein, pursuant to under Section 171 of the NIR and Section 219 of the Pintas, if added. In case, they found adulterated, diluted or unmarked petroleum, DOC and BIR officers can not only see these products but also arrest them through fuelist traders. Meanwhile, the fuel marking provider the joint venture of SGS Philippines Incorporated and Switzerland based SIPCA SA under a five-year contract must produce the duly approved official markers, provided in ready-to-use form, and conduct actual fuel marking, nationwide. The official marker will be introduced to fuels using manual dosing and automated flow injection systems. Only authorized trained specialists by the fuel marking provider can mark the petroleum product. In no instance shall the marker be in the possession of any unauthorized person including depot and refinery personnel, the guidelines read. Under the rule, the marking process shall be undertaken in the presence of oil company slash depot representatives to witness and attest to the veracity of the marking process, together with BOC and slash or BIR officers, if warranted. In the case of refineries, the injection processes are deemed undertaken in the presence of the refinery operation technicians. Smart fuel cannot be commingled with a marked product nor exported outside the Philippines. Fuel marking will cost P0.06884 per liter, to be shouldered by the government during the first year of implementation, from the second until the fifth year, the payment will be sourced from the trust receipt created under the train law. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.